Hi, my name's Andy from SBS, and today we're going to be looking at our model DK2000 trailer. So our DK and FK range are for our keelboats. Uh, so this one is for a Beneteau uh, 217, uh, which we've made many in the past. And uh, we're just going to give you a quick uh, talk through. So it all starts, of course, with the SBS proprietary fully welded chassis. Okay, so it offers the stiffest, strongest, best chassis for your boat. So all the stresses and strains of towing are taken through the chassis, they're not transferred to the boat. Um, starting at the front end, Alco, uh, um, running gear supplier of choice, this is the 251 coupling with the safety coupling head. And by that I mean it's always in the up position, it only locks down when a ball is inserted. So there should be no accidental, I think it's on, oh it's not on, type affair. Going back through the cart jockey wheel. This is a lovely jockey wheel. Plastic uh, wheel on this. It's got the same strength as the steel rim, but of course for marine use, we think the plastic is probably the best option to go for. 150 kilos maximum nose weight on that. Um, Dutton Lainston winch, twin speed winch, with the SBS follow the stripe um, strap, which is a nice touch. Um, you'll notice a high uh, winch position. That's of course for the Beneteau. It's got a plumb bow, so a straight bow. So of course the eye on that is quite high. Um, so that's made for that. And as you can see as well, held on with U-bolt, so adjustable. So the customer can set this trailer up to give the optimum tow characteristics by having on or around 75, 80 kilos nose weight. All SBS trailers conform to the latest EU regulations. Um, and what that means is you have the ability to take the trailer abroad and get it registered locally. Um, it's not a requirement to register the trailer if it's just going on holiday, but should you be exporting it or perhaps you keep it abroad, a holiday home or something fantastic like that, you will need to get it registered if you tow it with a locally registered car. So that's one great big tick for the SBS. Um, the other thing, just on a, a sort of a general safety feature, um, you'll notice it's got these LED lights down the side, um, they're waterproof, they're hardwired in, that is a requirement for EU regs and also the forward facing white light. Um, but with something like this, the Beneteau, this is a sizable boat, it's just a great little feature to be safe, you know, be seen. Um, and talking of the boat, you can see, so uh, the Beneteau is a lifting keel boat, so the posts are relatively low. Um, there's a full keel tray, galvanized keel tray. If the owner wishes, we can suggest you put some sacrificial ply on there just so when he lowers the keel to take the weight off the mechanism, you know, it doesn't uh, unduly scrape, scrape the keel or knock the anti-fouling off. Um, these four support posts around, as you can see, they're heavily braced. And also they've got a very simple acro uh, fine adjustment. So they'll lift up and down, and then for that last final adjustment, you can just use the screw thread. Simple bow adjustment, just to take any sort of pitch and yaw out of the boat. That, of course, goes up and down as well and clamps securely. And you'll notice around the trailer, these gray oversized rings also at the front and the rear, of course, and the midships um, to secure the boat uh, with ratchet straps. Okay, looking at the rear of the trailer now, you'll notice um, we've got this V or fishtail at the back. Um, the, the customer in this instance is going to sort of have the boat craned in and craned off, so he won't be launching and recovering it. Although with the Beneteau being um, a shallow draft boat, it's perfectly capable of being launched and recovered from this trailer. But this actual extension V, if you like, is purely a mechanism to hold the lighting board to make sure that the extension brackets, which you can put out to a metre maximum, get to the rear of the boat. Yeah, that, that's all it's for, really. Um, and in this instance, uh, the gentleman specified a spare wheel and tyre, which is mounted on the side. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the DK2000.